In this tutorial, for new Blender users, we'll just practice modeling something out of this cube. And I don't know what we're going to model, we're just going to model something and I'll call out the commands as I'm using them so you don't have to look at the command here on the screen. And I'll go a little bit slower than normal and that way you can just kind of follow along as we go. And I'm not really sure what we're going to build, but we'll just build something and you can kind of get an idea of how to work with modeling in here because it's really straightforward once you get used to using it. All right, so a couple things is um, let's add, I'll do Shift D first and I'll press Y and I'll move another object into the scene. And the reason I did that is for just a quick lesson real quick. So let's say this is the active object, but let's say I'm working on this object here. All right. Well, in order to move something around the scene, for instance, if I want to rotate the scene, I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and rotate it. It's rotating around that object. And if I hold down this button, I rotate. Well, it's still rotating around that center object, but I'm trying to get around this object. So you might have to hold down the shift key and with the middle wheel, I'm holding down and I'm moving it back into the scene like this and then I'm going to rotate it around. Well, it's still rotating around this object like this. So what I need to do is I need to click this or I need to click this and I need to press the dot or the DEL key on my number pad and that actually centers it to this object. And so now when I rotate it around, now I'm rotating it around here. And so when you're editing an object, you want to be able to rotate it around your own object. All right, that's for starters. That's really helpful. So I'm going to come back, click this one, and press the DEL key again. And then I'm going to zoom back out with the wheel with the wheel mouse. All right. So now let's get into, into the editing. So I'll press the tab key and then by default all the vertices and edges are selected. Here are the main features down here. By right clicking you can select things. So I'll right click that vertex and that's because down here this button vertex select button is is highlighted. Well, well, I want to but I want to collect that line. I want to select that line. Well, that means you need to be into edge select mode so you can select that line. And then maybe I want to select another line. I hold down the shift key and I select that one, maybe that one, and that one. So I've selected all those lines, which is actually the same as the face now in this case. And maybe I'll subdivide that. So I'll press a W and I'll click subdivide. All right. And then I'll press, well, maybe I'll just leave it like that. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and I'm going to press W, and I'm going to subdivide that, and subdivide it again like this. And sometimes you only need uh, more vertices or more faces at a certain location, like in this case, but maybe I don't need them here. So maybe in this case, I want to take, uh, well, let's see, I'm going to deselect everything with the A key, and I'm going to press the C key. This is a great little selection tool. It comes up with this circle. If you use the middle mouse wheel, you can make the circle bigger or smaller for selection. And then with the left mouse button, I can just select these guys like that. So I selected those faces here. And I got the edges as well. Well, I don't really want those edges, so I'm going to escape the selection tool, deselect everything. I'm going to press face select mode. Then I go back into pressing C again and now when I select I've just gotten all four of those faces. So that's what I wanted in that case. So I'll escape to get rid of the selection tool. I'm going to subdivide that again like this and then I'm going to spin it around to the side a little bit, press the E key and you notice, let me escape that real quick, notice my arrow is the x-axis and this is really good habit to get used to. You see down here x, y, and z and there's x out here, y, so I know red is x. So when I press E to extrude, I'm also going to immediately follow by pressing X and then it's going to extrude it directly on that line like that. Okay? And since I also know that that's X in that direction, maybe I want to spin that a little bit. So now I'm going to press R and then press X and then I'm going to spin all those faces a little bit like that. And then I'm going to extrude it again, E, X. I'm going to move him out like that and then I'm going to go R, X again. I'm going to spin him back in the other direction. Let's see what we've created. Whoa, who knows? We're just creating things as we go. All right, we'll so leave that. We'll put those there. Let's go work on something else. Now, over here, this is Edge Select Tool. You press this Edge Select Tool here, and then if I right click, I get an edge. However, if I deselect everything with the A key and I hold down the Alt key when I right click, I get all those edges, or I right click, I get all those edges 
like this. Now notice, I can right click there, there, there. I want to get there. For, oh, I want to get that edge around there. I'm not getting that edge like that. Let's see. It's having a tough time getting that side. Sometimes it can't. Most times it can. It's got the bottom edge. Let's see. Sometimes if you right click, no, oh, usually you can right click it again and it'll pick up the next surface like that. Well, if you can't, you go to face select and you pick it up like this. All right. So that's one thing. So now let's extrude. Let's not extrude that. Let's just move him out a little bit like this. Right. And then I'll move back and and now I'm going to extrude. I'll press E. But now in this case, well, let me escape where there's the Y axis like this. So I'll press E and then follow immediately by the Y key. And then I can just move him out. And, oh, no, I'm, I'm extruding on, didn't want to do that. I want to do X, E. I want to press X, move him out. And then press here, left click there. Then I'm going to press Y and then I'm, R, sorry, and then Y. And I'm going to rotate him on Y. And now when I press E to extrude, it's going to extrude on that local axis like that. All right, so then you can start controlling curvatures or whatever like this. All right, so all right, now next, let's go over here and do something else. Let's go back to edge select mode or vertex select mode. It doesn't matter. We'll press T, bring up the toolbar. And these are great little powerful tools right here. Loop, cut, and slide. I mean, you just can't beat this tool. You press this, you move it over here. It knows about these face edges like this. So I'm going to just click it there. And then before I click it again, I can move it to that location. So let's move the whole, let's move the whole, let me tab out of that for a second. I'm going to move the whole object back into the light a little bit like this. All right. And we're going to do this again. Tab into edit mode. I'm going to do it again. Uh, loop, cut, and slide. I'm going to come over here. And before I left click, I'm going to move the uh, middle mouse wheel. And then I can subdivide this into a lot of different shapes. So then I have a whole bunch of new faces built in like that with Lucas Live. And then there's a great little cool, where is he, the new knife cut tool. Is this the one? Oh yeah, knife cut. Let's see, we take knife cut and I can just go from there to there. Now that is a tool, huh? Like this, and I'm creating faces just like that and then I'll escape that. Let me do it again. I'll just knife it from here, that point to that point and I hit the enter key and then I've created a new uh, edge like that. That's a really powerful tool. You can see I can just move that whole edge. That's whoop, They're both selected so I don't want to move them all so I can just move this edge along like this. Very nice, huh? All right. Well, so that's just kind of gives you some simple ideas. Just those tools alone are really powerful and can get you building a whole lot of new models. And a lot of it just is uh, practice makes perfect. And I'm not the best modeler in the world because I don't spend a whole lot of time making intricate models. My real interest is in um, animations and things of that nature. So, uh, in fact, if you see my animations on the tanks and the aliens spaceships you'll understand the kind of stuff that i really like all right well that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson